guys welcome to today we just had another mail delivery we had a mail delivery you should see what happens in our house when we had a mail delivery we have so many Ooh, people order yeah like i order stuff sophie orders stuff sam orders stuff and when the mail guy comes we all make a beeline to the, to yeah, the door it gets aggressive it gets aggressive here at mail time you guys what is it for it's to sam is it to sam we fight about whose it is is it a selfie? Laura. It's to Laura. I know what it is. Can I open it? Sure, you can open it. Where's the knife? The cat. The... Oh, I know exactly what it is. But you should have seen the chaos when that box showed up from Amazon. What do you order from Amazon? Do you have something coming from Amazon? No. Well, how could it be from you then? Just <laughs> thinking. <laughs> do you ever do that though? Do you ever do that where a box comes and you just know it's for you even though you didn't order anything? Whatever that is. I ordered it with the That's things. It. That's probably it. No, there's two. There better be two. There's so be just box. grab in there and grab it out. A big box like that. Gabby's gonna like this. That's it? Oh, so I guess I only ordered one. So it's root touch up. So I don't want to dye my hair anymore. I'm terrified of dyeing it because I lost half of my hair in a dye accident. So I decided to try this root touch up. I'm going to go try it right now and see how it works. I think I should let it warm up first before I spray it in case it burns me or something. Look what I got. I have blonde roots though. I, I know, but what if, hair. I know. What if you wanted light brown roots? Yeah, no, I don't want Anyway, good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today is Wednesday. Today is hump day. It is Wednesday, which means that the time that we have home with Sam is so limited. You guys, he's going to be going back to work soon. I think on Tuesday, so another week. Oh, we have still a week. Don't we have a month? <laughs> when do you go back to work, Sam? When do I go back to work? Next week. What day? Monday. Monday? Is it Monday a holiday? No, not for me. Oh man. All right, Gabby, why do you think that you have a week, a month? Why do you think you get a month off? It's quarantine. Yeah, but. Was it the month of December. Well, December's over tomorrow. Uh huh, but I thought it said you had to go in quarantine for like a freaking month. We are in quarantine. I know, but we can still do school while we're in quarantine, sister. All right, if you guys are wondering, Daisy's standing here, like she does every day, watching the horses, guarding the place. She's watching. There will be no bunny rabbits running around this property without us knowing. Daisy is keeping guard. She's a guard dog. She has to make sure everyone's okay or else she'll kill herself. And she always has to make sure everyone's okay. So if he's making bacon. Okay, so we're going to take down our Christmas tree tomorrow. Not tomorrow, but the next day. We're going to take down the Christmas tree. And the reason I leave it all the way up till New Year's Day. Actually, I'm going to take it down on, I'm going to take it down on New Year's. Yeah, I'm going to take it down on New Year's Day. The reason you're supposed to take down your tree on New Year's Day is because it's bad luck. And you guys, too many of you guys took down your Christmas tree before New Year's Eve last year. And that is why 2020 was so bad. Just joking. But anyway, I'm not going to tempt the fates. I am going to take it down on New Year's Day. Like, like any self-respecting, superstitious person. But before I do take it down, I want to use it a couple more times. I want to try and take pictures of the puppies and the three big dogs underneath Bye. the tree. So this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah, I should have done it when there was presents around there, but I want it to be pretty. So I'm gonna try that. Oh, they think that I have treats now. So listen, this dog, hey, sit, sit, sit. This dog that we thought couldn't hear definitely knows when I call Molly, she comes and she sits. Okay, they're looking, hey, come here, Molly. They're looking excited. Let's do it, guys. Okay, so we are headed to the barn, and I wanted to tell you guys two things before we get there. One, yesterday, or today when I was reading the comments, I read that somebody said that their horse always, oh, what did they say? Their horse always does something, some bad thing. Oh man, now I forget what it was. But anyway, I wanted to tell you guys what I read recently. I read that sometimes things happen and it triggers a memory behavior in a horse, so like Penny, when I bring the saddle out and she sees the saddle and she pins her ears and she bites down. Um, we've done everything to treat her for ulcers. There's no way she has ulcers. She's on a supplement that's an amazing supplement right now. And um, she will still do it as soon as she sees the saddle. I know she doesn't have ulcers. If I take her into her stall 
and tack her up in her stall. Her ears are forward, she's happy, she's looking around for hay, couldn't care less about the saddle. So what I read was that when a horse builds up a memory, a, a negative memory with a specific thing, you need to change the routine or change how you do the thing. So for me, taking her in the stall and tacking her up in the stall totally eliminates the memory. She doesn't even have to worry about the saddle. She doesn't have to worry about anything because She's not paying attention to the routine and what we're doing. So that's something so profound that I read and um, I thought maybe it would help some of you guys. So then I also read, that's the rain coming down, not the camera shaking. Okay, so a P and H nut, P and H nut. I don't know what that means. She says, it's so nice to watch the progression of Penny in such a short time. I was thinking about an exercise that you might like to try with Penny since your arena is so small. It's called a passenger ride. You literally, literally sit on her and let her go wherever she wants while you balance yourself with a hand on each side of her wither on a loose rein. It gives her the opportunity to move freely and you learn to trust her and balance yourself. It's a great lesson in trusting each other at the walk and eventually you will do it at all the gates. You will be so surprised at how much it will change your riding philosophy. I want to change my riding philosophy and I'm going to try that. I actually was thinking last night God put that in my head that I was thinking I'd like to just like sit on her and let her walk around and see what she wants to do. So I'm definitely going to try that. You'll be seeing that in my next video. Yeah, that's all I got to say. I was talking to the, the farrier today about our horse and basically he said like, Taking off his shoes might make, like, so taking off his shoes, he's obviously gonna be sore. And then he said, like, it might take a little bit longer than normal. I don't know why the color is so orange. And then he said, like, when the ground goes soft, he might feel a little better. And then when the ground gets really hard again, he might get feel bad again. So it just might be like a little bit of waiting, waiting it out. But we're gonna try Chino today and see how he's doing. We have to walk. Gabby does it. We have to walk. It's pouring rain. It's pouring rain. I've got no hood. I have a hood. I see Chino hiding. You have a hood. Oh, good. Put it on me. Let's see if he runs. You can go get walking if you want while I video this. Yes, I'll be coming. Dad will be okay. Can we just take a second to realize that, to appreciate the fact that our horse is with the herd now? Our horses are all integrated. Hi hey Finn. You ready to rock and roll? Oh. Tex, you got a new friend? Oh, some reason it I stinks. I think this is Donnie. Oh, that is Donnie. He's cute. Hurry, hurry up, because all the horses are coming to me. Oh, you look amazing in your new blanket. It's adorable. Sophie's like, come on, Mom. Let's go, Mom. Let me fall. Storm and Oakley together, alone. I think Oakley is somebody, a horse after Storm's heart. He doesn't like the rain. I bet Storm goes there, too. How is he? A little lame. A little lame? Wow, look at this camera. On this, rain. On this rain? So this is the left rain? Yeah. Oh. Right. oh yeah, I see it there. Wow. He looked like he was getting a little bit better there till right at the end he got really bad. Back to the paddock for you. Back to the paddock for you, Chino Bambino. Uh, farrier comes soon and then if we have to put new shoes on him, we'll have to put new shoes on him and it'll have to be okay. He looked like he wanted to come in. Did you say front right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I see too. Is that what it was last time too? Yeah. So anyways, the farrier wanted to take the shoes off. Like Gabby wanted to take his shoes off, I wanted to take his shoes off, and the farrier wanted to take his shoes off because he said that the fact that he pulls shoes is going to be just really a hard thing. To, so he wanted to try taking them off. Okay, yeah, rainstorm. But she loves running Chino. Like Hello. annoying. Penny chewed apart her salt lick, so you might need to get her one of those rocks. You want me to get her a rock? Let's check and see if Finn has one. 
Because I noticed Finn's yeah, been. Yes. Okay. Let's look. And there's like. Yeah. So damage. he's been licking it. He loves salt licks. Let's check store. All right. Chino's got one. You want to get her a store uh, one like this, Sam? Or she should get the kind Finn has. Yeah. Because it has more salt. Yeah. I like it in that hat. I licked all of them. You've licked them all? Which one's best, Sophie? Okay. And Storm has one too. Because first of all, it comes with a string. And it's better. Yeah, I like the other one better too. Okay, let's go. Come on, poor Gabby. I feel bad for your daughter. And she didn't have to walk. Yeah, she didn't have to walk very far. And at least she has a horse to ride. So that's amazing. But, I mean, it's hard to build a relationship with somebody when he's not ever there. Gabby hasn't come back yet. And... Storm was just right outside the, oh, Storm ran away. Storm, make sure I see her coming. Oh, you ran away. Can you guys see my cold sores in the light? That's terrible. It's like my whole lift has been eaten away by cold sores. I feel like it's the stress, the stress of family over the holidays, you guys. Like, family is hard. Family is so hard. Don't you find family hard? <sighs> it was half good and I didn't have to go to Toronto this year. Yeah, we didn't have to go to Toronto. Christmas is hard. I saw he ran off. Literally, I was out there. He was out there, just standing there eating hay, and then he must have knew. He's like, oh, I know Chino's lame. I better run for it. Also looks like somebody's been trying to rip his blanket. Another reason I feel bad for Gabby is that it has been, I mean, uh, this has been such a hard year, you guys. I feel for all of you. So many of you guys, like Gabby, had all these plans. Like, she planned to go to Trillium last summer, and then she planned to hopefully try an A-level show this year, and she's going to be two years behind on her plans, just like I'm sure a lot of you guys are two years behind. The fact that COVID is here, and we can't be with our trainers that much. Like, we, we, didn't, we had no trainers all summer. We have no trainers now, probably all winter. Like... It, even though all we could do is make the best of a bad situation, that's all we can continue to do, it is definitely hard. Like, and, and that's just like hard, that's just like such a small part of how hard COVID has been on the world. Like, there's been a lot of destruction, there's been a lot of stress for a lot of people, for a lot of families, and my heart breaks for everybody that, like it's just not been what we thought that we would have, like, it just goes to show you guys, don't take what you have for granted because it could be here today and gone tomorrow. Find happiness with what you have. So Sophie was watching TikTok and she saw a video of a horse that had two beans and the person oh, showed... Oh, one. Oh, no, I saw two. No, it was one. Two beans? One bean? One. Oh, well, anyways, show it to me later because I think you're wrong. Anyways, so Sophie was all paranoid and was like, you need to check him. He might have beans. So I tried to check Finn. Finn doesn't love it. He was really yucky and did you do storm? So I did mostly Finn. He didn't have any beans. He's he's pretty clean now. Like he's a lot better. This guy loves to have be checked for beans. So I checked him and he was like this, all relaxed. Anyways, so far so good. None of these guys have any beans. I'll have to Chino check Chino. Probably. Chino doesn't like it either though. I get nervous when Well Phil actually said to the therapist person thing. Um, yeah, Finn actually told the psychic before that he doesn't like his sheath being cleaned. And it's true, he doesn't. Good boy, Stormy. You're going to get lots of treats today, okay? You're going to get lots of treats because you worked so hard. You go out there and break to your friends and be like, oh, I was a jumping horse today. There was bolting and there was bucking and there was jumping. Anyway, that is it for today's video because I really want to show you guys what happened when I tried the crying thing with Penny, uh, when I did it with her, um, I had already let the ponies in, so she was concerned about the ponies going in without her, so that was a big deal for her, but you guys can see what she was like. It was interesting watching that, like super interesting. I'm gonna try it again and, and control the conditions a little bit better, leave the ponies out and do it like just a little bit differently and see if I get a different reaction. So I'm gonna show you guys that and then we're gonna run out of room for our footage, but don't forget, uh, tonight, we're gonna go live on YouTube with you guys, our New Year's Eve party. We're gonna have a New Year's Eve party with you guys, where we all drink champagne, just joking. <laughs> and for all the kids in our channel are like, 
Can you go back to the store and get fake champagne? All the kids on our channel are like, you guys are letting your kids drink champagne. It will be a sip. Sophie won't drink it because she doesn't want to get drunk. Yeah. There will be no getting drunk. So just, I'll just drink, I'll put juice boxes in that kind of cup. Oh, and that's a trick. Them. Yeah, okay. No, so, don't put that in. Okay, we won't put that in so that they think that it's champagne. Yeah. Sophie's going to have the biggest glass of champagne, you guys. I know. Um, But that's one thing you should know, Soph. You don't get drunk if you drink a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. But I you still could. I get drunk if I drink this much because I don't drink it very often. But if you drink this much, you shouldn't get drunk. Put ginger ale. Oh, put ginger ale. Oh, there's Storm pooping in the in the cross ties. He poops in the cross ties. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys that footage now. We'll see you guys tonight. I'm bringing my old boots home because I don't wear them anymore. Oh. Ooh, could I try them No, on? they're your winter boots. You need to leave them here, Gabby. I have to break them in for trillium. I know, but you need to still bring them here yeah, because... I too much room in the locker, especially... There is going to be days where it's going to be so cold, you're not going to no, want... No, bring them. Okay. Because you I... always say, Just wait. bring in extra coats, it's cold. Let's bring see. Bring extra gloves, it's cold. Okay, turn around. Let's see. Did they do up all the way? No. Not yet. But they're pretty. They're pretty broken. Anymore. Can I try Gabby's old boots? Uh, sure. Oh, no. They're extra slim. But I want to see if the foot part fits. Okay, you can do it. Yeah. Happy New Year, you guys. We love you, and we'll see you again in the new year. And don't forget about our live tonight. Bye. She's like, is it supper time? All right, so recently on TikTok, I saw somebody um, cry in front of their horse and see what their horse does. So we're gonna try that right now. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know where I'm gonna hold the camera. <laughs> All right, so that was a fail. She did not care about me. All right, so I did it at a wrong time because honestly, she's more interested in the fact that the ponies went in and she hasn't gone in. So I did it, that was bad. I'm gonna try it again tomorrow. We're gonna see what we can do tomorrow and see if it works. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the way you are